What are you talking about? What reason could there possibly be for the immigrant fleet to deploy ships to Second Milsha? Now, now, let's not be so quick to judge. Let's at least hear what they have to say. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to speak. Once in this region of space, there existed the great land of Milsha. As you all know, when the unfortunate events occurred 14 years ago, that land, along with mankind's greatest treasure, was sealed away like a cursed past. That greatest of treasures originally belonged to all of mankind. And we of the immigrant fleet had been its caretakers from time immemorial. Now wait just a minute. All Zohar activity currently falls under the jurisdiction of the Federation. You aren't trying to monopolize that great treasure for yourselves now, are you? We wouldn't dream of it. All I am saying is, there are those who would claim it as their own. Are you insinuating that the Milshan government would do such a thing? They have clearly used the events of 14 years ago to justify their mobilization. To demonstrate that they have summoned the great evil, Proto Merkaba, in an attempt to reignite the flames of conflict across the galaxy. They intend to take advantage of the chaos of war, to use the relic in Old Milsha for their own self interests. In response to these usurpers, the Milshan government. We propose to reclaim our long-standing traditional rights to be the caretakers of the relic. The incident you speak of was perpetrated by the UTIC organization. All accusations against the Milshan government were officially cleared, were they not? I believe there was even evidence provided by Vector. Yes, but there are also rumors that Vector is supporting the Milshan government. I wonder just how trustworthy Vector's data really is. Where is the Milsian government's representative now? Where is Representative Helmer? Doesn't he have anything to say in this matter? It's been a long time, Lieutenant General. Or do you prefer Representative Helmer of the Second Milshan Parliament? The old way is fine, Captain. It suits me more. Well, Captain, aren't you going to ask me why I've come? I've got a fairly good idea. Fine. Then I'll get straight to the point. Captain, I'd like to enlist your services once again. I believe you already know Kanan. Yes, it's been a while. The data you entrusted to Kanan. I want to find out the truth it holds. That evidence was obtained illegally. It won't stand up in court. I don't care. If I can just find out who our real enemy is, that'll be more than enough. I want to know, Captain. Lieutenant General, these days I am but a lowly used bookseller. I'm not sure I'm capable of meeting your expectations. This is... The truth will surely be of great benefit to you as well. Lieutenant General, you must realize that in order to unravel the data that I passed to Kanan, we have to go back there. I assume you are aware of what that means? I'm well aware. And I'm ready.
Shion. I thought we were getting someone from the third division. This is outside of first division's jurisdiction, isn't it? Yes. Normally the third division would have sent someone, but we were closer. It's just easier for me to take care of it. Besides, I've already had everything we need transported over. Don't worry, we've got the technical side covered. You can relax. Honestly, Chief, you're so stubborn. You know, you're gonna have a hard time with the third division later. Yet in spite of that, Alan, you're still right here helping. What? Uh, well, I can't leave it all to the Chief now, can I? Junior, we want to save Momo too. Or, do you think Alan and I aren't reliable enough? Uh, no, no. Well, I don't know about Alan, but I'm glad you're here, Xion. Hey, what is that supposed We're to- short on time. As soon as you're ready, well, let's go. Right. The dive subjects for this operation will be the Chief, Junior, Chaos, and Ziggy. I've also arranged for Cosmos data to be simultaneously transmitted from 2nd Division into the Encephalon. I'm sure having her around will be reassuring. That's good thinking, Alan. Our dive target is Momo Mizrahi's subconscious domain, which is modeled after Sakura Mizrahi's memories. Like the dive into Cosmos Encephalon, there is a possibility of resonant memory playbacks with those who've closely shared time and space with her. This time, that'd be me. Junior? Dr. Misrahi told me that Sakura suffered from a central nervous system disorder. Did you have contact with her? I did. The going theory was that Sakura's symptoms were somehow connected to unusual wave pulses within the UMN. She was being attended to at the Yuriev Institute, where her treatment was also a part of the URTV's UMN link training. Sakura, the girl Momo was modeled after? I'd like to ask you something. What is Udu exactly? Why were you URTVs created? To fight it? Udu is the Unus Moon Destrive operation system. From the name, it might sound like some UMN control AI. But 
that thing was not created by human hands. Yes. That thing? That's no AI. Nothing that simple could have created a space-time anomaly. Exactly. He just picked the name because it sounded good. At first they tried to make us believe it too. They said it was an artificial consciousness within the UMN that was carrying some kind of dangerous waves. But that was a total lie. Our father Dmitry Yuryev knew about it from the start. TVs match your individual waves to mine. <laughs> mental waves, the resulting anti-particle collision with us will be converted directly into thermal energy. Ted knew everything. <laughs> that bastard! The link is already complete. We can't stop it. No! Ruby, no! Don't let go! No! I'm cutting the link! <laughs> Don't let go! So what is it? It's an energy from a higher dimension. An entity humans couldn't possibly control. It's ironic that we URTVs are its anti-existence. Yet, we were never told what it really is. Boondoo. Cephalon construction complete. We can open the interconnection at any time now. Okay, go ahead. All right, everyone, it's just relax and enjoy the trip. Don't worry, I'm a pro at this. Starting preparation for interconnection linkage. He's right. We're in good hands. Band secured. Opening cage partition. System monitors are showing normal values. Cosmos data transfer confirmed. Initiating reconstruction. Confirmed transport of external data. Readying prime field formation. All preparations for direct approach complete. All right, let's go. <laughs>
Where are we? The world inside Momo's subconscious domain. Sakura's inner world. Momo! Momo, you're okay. Hey, can't you hear me? Say something. It's no use, Junior. She's not going to answer. Why not? She's right there in front of us. Her personality layer is offline. Plus, her neural network's completely fragmented. She can't understand anything we say. She may not be able to even hear us right now. No. Damn it. The Momo you're seeing here is nothing more than a product of her own subconscious. Even if she were able to take some sort of action, it would only be a simple reflex. Momo, even in her current state, she's still trying so hard to help us. What are you doing? We don't have much time. Do you want to worry Momo even more? Right. Momo, just hang on a little bit longer.